Hey there, Cancer, Sun Rising, and Venus. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing your love reading for June 2024. If this does not resonate or you're looking for more information, you're more than welcome to check your other placements. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead and get right into it. Guidance, Holy Spirit, Well Ancestors. What does Cancer need to know? What can they expect here in June 2024? Okay, just Holy Spirit, give me three cards. What can Cancer expect? What do they need to know? Cancer. One more for Cancer. You speak to me through music. So Cancer, you and this person could have really connected with music. Maybe you have similar taste or interest in music. Or something, yeah, something about music, okay? Maybe there's songs that they dedicated to you or that you guys would listen to together, okay? cross watchers could be vice versa. You have, I wish I had treated you better. Finding out the truth crushed me and you were the best thing in my life. Okay, so I feel like there's a disconnect here between you and this individual. Maybe there's little to no contact between you two. I do feel like they found something out recently. Maybe they found out that you're seeing other people, that you're dating somebody else, okay? Something around those lines or just, they, they found out something that really hurt them, okay? Or that's hurting them. Yeah, that's hurting them. Spirit is saying hurting, present tense. Um, maybe this person didn't treat you so well and now they're getting some type of karma here, Cancer, okay? And they're realizing that you were the best thing in their life. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. That's the energy I'm picking up on. Let's go ahead and dig further. What can Cancer expect here when it comes to love? June 2024. All right, some of you could have been connecting with a younger Gemini Libra Aquarius or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio Taurus. All right, I'm seeing as well. Some of you had plans of marrying this person, okay? Or you thought this was a person that you were gonna like, you're, that you were gonna end up with. All right. Um, I see them researching. I see them finding out. This person could have found something out online recently, something that has to do with you. I do feel like now they're coming to that realization that they are very much still or in love with you here. This person's dreaming a lot about you as well. They might be having dreams. Maybe you're feeling their energy. Cancer. Cancer. The Wheel of Fortune. What can they expect here? And the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Yeah, some of you, you were either married to this person or you had plans. Okay, you had plans. But now... This person is now seeing that they could have had stability with you. They could have had the family, the kids, everything with you. All right. And now it's like they're feeling regret. Um, very specific message for some of you. you. Either you or this person found out that the other was being intimate with someone else or they had intimacy with someone else. And maybe that's what caused a breakup. Um, this, all, this could also mean that this person is thinking about the moment, the moments you two were intimate. Okay. This person sees that you're doing very well financially or that you're really focused on your finances, Cancer. Tell me more. Can I just list your one ancestors? You have the world card in reverse. So I feel like this person feels like there's unfinished business here with you. Some of you could be dealing with someone from a different culture or at a distance. Um, Pisces energy. Capricorn as well. For some of you, you could be dealing with someone who has like, ooh, okay. They could be have, they have some addiction, okay? First, they may have an addiction, cross watchers could be vice versa, and it's causing them not to see things clearly, or at one point, they couldn't see things clearly because they were constantly numbing themselves. Well, that, this message is coming through here. Um, tell me more. This person feels like there was a lack of closure between you two. One second, this cards go out. Yeah, Eight of Wands wanted to show its face and the Five of Swords. So I feel like this person is wanting to talk to you they want to send you a message. Well, let's go ahead and see if they're actually going to do that. What can Cancer expect? Cancer. June 2024. Seven of Wands. The Eight of Swords. 
Okay, so this person's feeling mentally stuck, okay? They feel stuck here. Some of you may be seeing the number 555 a lot, okay? You may want to look up what that means. I know it means changes coming coming soon, okay, or changes about to occur. Uh, some of you could have this person blocked. Someone has somebody blocked here or just energetically blocked, okay? Does it tell me more about this? What is this Eight of Swords about? The moon, Pisces energy. Strong Pisces in your reading. Someone has Pisces in their chart. You have the Emperor, Aries energy, the Six of Swords. The Cancer, and the Five of Cups. I see someone in major regret. Major regret for wanting to have control all the time. This person could have been very controlling. And they also had a tendency to keep a lot of secrets. Emperor and Empress. Interesting. Let's see. Tell me more. What can Cancer expect here June 2024 when it comes to love? Yeah, some of you, let me know in the comment box below if you're dealing with someone at a distance, okay, from a different culture. 2-2, two, two, some of you could be seeing the number 22 a lot. Some of you are 22 years old, but I feel like this person wants a reunion with you. Especially if this is someone at a distance, okay, or you met this person at a distance, or they live at a distance, or they're a different culture, but this person's wanting to come forward. But my thing is, you know, what happened here in the past? Because I feel like this person was maybe either mean to you, or they were too controlling, or for some of you, you could have felt like this person just wanted your financial stability. Let's see, what happened here? What happened between Cancer and this person? What happened? What happened between Cancer and this person? And the Spirit Law Ancestors. You have the Two of Swords. Maybe this person has mental health issues or you caught this person texting, talking to somebody else. Um, yeah, and again, with the Page of Pentacles. Maybe you felt like they were just in it for the financial reasons or something like that. Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, Energy, Capricorn. Yeah, for some of you, like... This person may, maybe didn't want to move things to a higher level. Maybe you thought they were just in it for the financial or intimacy reasons. Or you could have found out that this person was intimate with somebody else. In other words, cheated. Or they could have lied about something about that, that has to do with intimacy. Very interesting. I see that there was a lot of conflict, a lot of arguments between you two. A lot of drama, Gemini, Virgo. Yeah, but that's what I'm seeing. But this person... They do want a reunion with you. They want to see you again. This person wants to see you again. This energy I'm picking up on. Yeah, they want to see you again. Let's see. What is this person's intentions? Give me one card. Yeah, I see. Three of swords and the seven of swords. Okay. I definitely feel like there was some sneaky energy. What is this person's intentions? Cancer. You have the Four of Cups, the Three of Wands. What is this person's intentions? The Nine of Wands, the Devil card. For some of you, just be careful. It could be this person's ego, just wanting to see like, oh, that, you know, Cancer won't reject me. I would be careful with this energy, just, you know, because I don't know, this person's intentions, Gemini energy here with the lovers. They could be going through some mental conflict. This person may be wanting someone to talk to. But again, just be careful because I feel like this person is juggling. Two of Swords, Two of One, or Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. All right. I don't know. Yeah. It's like this person, I feel like. <sighs> Tell me more about this person's intentions. First Cancer. Three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't know. I would just be careful, okay? Because this person still may have player-like tendencies. I do feel like you make this person very happy. and But I feel like this person needs, needs to get something in order in their life first. Like, they need to either, like, leave a situation or, like, get out of this mental conf conflict 
before they can even get in a relationship, if that makes any sense. What else does Cancer need to know about this person? What else? What else does Cancer need to know? We will be together again. Yeah, so this person does want to see you and reunite with you. But again, I would just make sure they have um, their stuff in order, okay? Because I feel like this person still uh, either is emotionally immature, they still got some baggage, or they still, um, you know, need to work on some issues. Let's just put it that way, okay? Let me just quickly ask what's coming for those looking for new love. What's coming for those looking for new love? Give me three cards. What's coming for Cancer? What's coming for new love? Can I just waste Spirit of Ancestors? One more shuffle. What's coming for Cancer? Who's coming for Cancer? Looking for new love. Can I just waste Spirit? Okay, you have someone, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be meeting this person online or on so, through social media. This could be someone who is divorced or doesn't mean that they're divorced. It could just be someone who's very logical. This is not someone to be very emotional very quickly. Someone who's more logical. They're very observant. All right, for some of you, they could have two kids. That's for very, very few of you, okay? Um, but I do feel like this is someone who is very financially well off and they're very attractive or you're gonna be very attracted to them, okay? This is someone who likes to go on adventures. Um, someone, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very strong here, or Aries. Yeah, this is a person that is pretty well off financially, very stable. Again, you can meet this person online. They like to go on adventures. Let's see, tell me one more. Tell me more about this person. New love for Cancer. You have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely someone who um, very intelligent individual and very emotional, very emotionally intelligent. But I do see that this person could have gone through some stuff in the past. You might know that like some, either this person or someone in like maybe their partner in the past or something about an addiction. Okay, just keep that in mind. Maybe this is someone who's divorced for some of you or who already has two kids or children. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. All right. All right, Cancer. Well, this is what I have for you. If it did not resonate or if you're looking for more information, feel free to check your other placements. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.